Welcome to the another episode of abstract thesis series in this series we are digging deep into the power bi concepts if you have not subscribed subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon so that you can get notification for our new video hello and welcome to another video of abstract thesis series and in this video we would like to discuss a case where we would like to filter a disconnected dimension so assume let's say i have a geography table where i have city and state and what happened I have another customer table which also have city and state now I'm using a dimension of that customer and what I would like is when I filter the city or a state from this particular table it should also filter the slicer of the other one now data is already going to filter because data is coming from the fact so data is getting filtered on that but the dimension table which is available is showing me all the customers so I would like to restrict the customer for that particular state or city so let's try to uh, jump on the power bi and try to understand that so let's take up this case so let's look at our geography dimension so i have a geography dimension which has city and state now what happens is my customer dimension i also have state and i also have city in this one and to have a better look let me show you it here now what happens is if i create in my page customer name as a dimension member is this let me click this as a slicer you will see all this one and now if I go here and let's say if I create a city slicer also and so you will see the move I select something it is not going to make any impact on that one. okay so I'm selecting city here and it's not going to make any impact on that one. if I even select a state uh, it's not going to make any impact so I can have state also in one or more dimension and then if I one more slicer and if I see city is filtering but the customer is not filtering so what should I do in such scenario now one of the ways that I take a common uh, major uh, which is between these things so let's say if I bring in net which is available and I say and I go to this particular dimension customer dimension and I bring in net and I say is not blank apply and uh, let me select now California you can see the changes are happening let's say okay now you can see that the customers are getting filtered out now what would happen is the, this is the case when you have a one 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 fact then you can restrict otherwise so for so, so many fact are you going to create and then my idea is not to restrict a uh, customer based on the fact my idea is that can I use this city or state now what happens in this case my cities are part of the states so can I only use city to control this customer dimension so what we are going to do is we are going to create a major first of all so what may to create this major what we are going to say control city and first of all I'm going to create a where underscore tab variable tab which is table basically and I say summarize and I say all selected and I want to take the geography table completely selected geography table whatever has been selected and from geography I will say geog take geography city and I then come out and I say return alt enter I pressed so that I came to next line so I say return and I say alt enter and then what I am going to say I say count rows count rows of which table I want to filter which table now right now count rows filter which table I want to filter I want to filter the customer table isn't it so customer on what basis I want to filter customer I want to filter it based on city because that's the only thing which is available with me customer city in the tab values okay so now I go here on this one and I remove this net and I bring in filter so I bring in control city and controls and then I check for is not blank this so we apply and uh, we 
check for it now let's see does it work so let's go and select some state and we see the number of customers have changed now let's go to some other state now uncheck the state and let's go to some city and we can see for the city also the customers is responding and changing so for both of them we have made sure because a city is the one which is at the lower level so we taken the advantage of that and done it so what is happening this these two tables are not connected so just have a look at the model ones also so if we go to our model and the easier way i'll tell you to check whether the two tables have some connection or not i added a one more layout using the plus button and then i drag customer table as well as geography table and there is no relationship between these two because if there is some relationship let me bring one table which is related if i bring in you can see the relationships are also coming so this is the easiest way to know whether some tables are related or not and you can keep those layout by naming them something or you can delete them so go ahead and try this out do let us know what else you want us to cover in this particular series thanks for watching this video thank you keep watching keep asking questions in comments subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon so that you can get notification for new videos thank you